This is Eugene Panritkovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have an Acer Aspire 7736Z laptop computer. It's also known as a 7736, and it has a broken screen. And we're going to show you how to replace the screen on an Acer 7736. Z. Okay, before we do anything, the first thing we're going to do is remove the battery. There's two levers you have to slide. So first we have to unlock the battery, this one, and then we slide this one to release the battery, and we tilt it up, and we remove it. Okay, once we remove the battery, our next step is to remove the plastic frame around the screen, also known as the bezel. Uh, let's take a look at the tools we're going to need. So first we're going to need a pair of sharp metal tweezers, an X-Acto knife with a pointed end, and an electronic screwdriver with a PH0 bit that is smaller and a larger pH 1 bit. pH stands for Phillips. Okay, so like I said, the first thing we need to do is remove the bezel. And in order to do that, we remove the rubber pads that are covering the screws. What I like to do with the rubber pads is go attach them to the side so I don't lose them. And then we use our X-Acto knife for this job. This one has six, so we remove all six, like so. Try not to damage the pads and try to keep the adhesive on the pads instead of the screws. Sometimes it's not possible, but most of the time we can get away with that. Okay, almost there. Sometimes they can be a little bit stubborn. Okay, so we removed the last one. And the next thing we're going to do is remove the six screws that are securing the bezel to the screen assembly. So when you remove the screws, keep the screws in separate piles for each step. That way, when you're putting the screen back together and working backwards, you know where everything is. Okay, we keep moving. Okay, we have four. and this is the last one. I'm a little bit jittery today from the morning coffee, forgive me. Okay, once we remove the screws, what we need to do is remove the bezel and what I like to do is use my fingertips to go on the screen side and gently start lifting the bezel up. So work your way around, and sometimes it takes a while, sometimes they're more stubborn, and sometimes there's adhesive on the bezel side, but in this case there's not. So we keep working our way around. If, a, if there's a place that doesn't want to give, just go to a different place and come back to that place. On the bottom you have to use a little bit more force, and there's some adhesive on the bottom. Okay, so it snapped out. So what I like to do at this point, there's some hinge covers that are part of the bezel. What I like to do is use the tweezers to reach up and loosen up the hinge covers. If one side doesn't work, you try the other side and you keep trying until it's out, and the bezel is out. 
Okay, so this one was a little bit more difficult and it was more difficult around the hinge covers. So take your time on that and make sure it's okay. Okay, so, okay, once, once the plastic bezel is off, and the next thing we want to do is remove the screen from the metal mounting brackets that are on the side of the screen and they're held together by screws. Sometimes it's hard to get to these screws but in this case it's very easy. So you have three screws holding the screen to the metal, mount, metal mounting bracket on each side. So we go one by one. Make sure the screen is tilted forward when you do this or tilt it backward I should say so when you release all the screws the screen doesn't just fall forward on you okay and we go over here and remove the three screws once again one and three like so okay so the screen is free and when we do the screen is free we slowly tilt it forward and right away we see that the video cable is adhered to the back. What, if I can at all avoid it, I don't want to release the connector. So what I try to do is release the adhesive and we can do that. And you can see it's part of the video cable. Like so. Okay, and it's a 17.3 inch LED screen and for the LED screens there's only one connector and it's usually in the location that you see it now, bottom left, if you're looking from the back. So the next thing we want to do is lift up the tape so we can remove the connector. We gently lift up the tape, try not to damage the connector like so and we make sure that there's no adhesive on the back of the cable once we see that we pull the connector back and it's out so we have the screen out let's take a look at the screen it's a 17.3 inch LED screen with the connector on the bottom left as in most common cases they are Let's take a look at the part number. Let's see if we can get a good focus. The part number is B173RW01. That's what you need to do when you look up at this screen. Now, uh, Screen Surgeons also sells these screens. Uh, so what you do is go www.screensurgeons.com and click on Buy a Screen and follow the instructions there. Now, uh, when you do receive the screen, most likely it won't be the same part number or the same maker, but it will be a fully compatible screen. There are about five or six manufacturers that make the exact same screen. And when you do receive it, you probably won't see this white background here. You will see a circuit board down here. So don't worry, it's the same screen. It's going to be compatible and we're losing focus. I don't know why. Okay, so let's see if we can get our focus back. There we go. Okay, and so connectors bottom left. The finish is glossy. And um, that's it. So when you do receive your screen, you just reverse the procedure and follow the instructions backwards. Connect the connector, mount the screen in the metal mounting brackets, and then put on the plastic bezel and you should be done. And that's it. Once again, my name is Eugene Panrutkovich. I'm the laptop screen doc and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Thank you and good luck.